Peppermint Patty Goes to Camp by Charles M. Schultz. Peppermint Patty sits up straight at her desk and grips her pencil. Her eyes are focused on the board, but something isn't quite right at school today, she realizes. Where is everyone, she asks. Oh, right, she shouts. Yesterday was the last day of school. School's out for summer. For Peppermint Patty, summer means one thing and one thing only, camp. Soon, Peppermint Patty is on the bus to Camp Remote. She finds a seat next to Marcy. They met at camp one year and have been best friends ever since. I can't wait to get there, Peppermint Patty says to Marcy. There are so many things to do. Peppermint Patty loves swimming by the lake sleeping in a cabin, and singing songs by the campfire. She even likes eating camp chow. Aren't you going to eat, Marcy? She asks on their first night at camp. Marcy shakes her head. Marcy doesn't like camp the way Peppermint Patty does. I always get lonely, she tells Peppermint Patty. But at least I can catch up on my reading. Can you imagine our teacher expecting us to read four whole books this summer? Asked Peppermint Patty. I already read them all, says Marcy. Peppermint Patty shakes her head. A few days later, Peppermint Patty sees something interesting. Could it really be him? Yes, it's Charlie Brown at the boys camp. Peppermint Patty waves. Hi Chuck, she calls. He didn't wave back, sir, Marcy points out. Stop calling me sir, says Peppermint Patty. Anyway, that must be because he can't see me. Let's go. Peppermint Patty and Marcy walk around the lake. Soon they are at the boys' camp. Hi, Chuck, says Peppermint Patty. What are you doing here? asks Charlie Brown. The girls' camp is going to play the boys' camp in a ball game, Peppermint Patty explains. Aren't you going to play? I don't think I'm good enough, says Charlie Brown. But you love baseball, says Patty Peppermint. This is summer camp, where you're here to have fun. Charlie Brown nods. No matter how lousy you are, Peppermint Patty adds. The girls' camp beat the boys' camp. After the baseball game, Peppermint Patty looks for Charlie Brown. Great game, wasn't it? She asks. Sorry I had to strike you out. Back at the girls' camp, Peppermint Patty decides to send a letter to a very special someone. Dear Chuck, she writes, life here at camp is great. Little does she know that Marcy is also writing a letter to the same special someone. The next day, Marcy receives a reply from Charlie Brown. But Peppermint Patty does not. Suddenly, camp isn't as much fun anymore. Peppermint Patty marches over to the boys' camp. She wants to have a word with Charlie Brown, but he is nowhere to be found. He got lonely for Snoopy, so he went home, Linus explains. Peppermint Patty is sad. I wonder if it's because I struck him out, she says, and sits down. Linus holds out his blanket. Hold this for a while. It'll make you feel better, he promises. Linus's blanket works. Peppermint Patty is surprised by how soft and cozy it is. She feels much better already. If Snoopy were here, he'd lean over and kiss me on the cheek, she says. Like this? asks Linus. Then he leans over and kisses her on the cheek. Just at that moment, Marcy comes over. Sir, the bus for home is leaving in an hour, she says. Linus just kissed me on the cheek, and you tell me the bus is leaving? Peppermint Patty shouts. Never take a summer romance seriously, sir, Marcy replies. Stop calling me sir, says Peppermint Patty. On the bus ride home, Peppermint Patty asks Marcy a very important question. Why do you always call me sir when I keep asking you not to? Don't you realize how annoying that can be? 
No, ma'am, replies Marcy. So what are you going to do next summer, sir? Asks Marcy. Peppermint Patty smiles. She knows exactly what she'll do. After all, for Peppermint Patty, summer means one thing and one thing only. Summer camp. <laughs>